Skyjohn in the backfield. And Hensman is going to put it up for the first time. It's complete to number three, Carlos Carson. All you're going to see is Carlos Carson is going to run a little turn in on the left side. He gets in the seam. Hensinger has a lot of patience. He just sits there, waits for Carlos to come open, throws it low that so no one... They have been impressive so far, that's for sure. Ensminger on first and ten. Fires over the middle and it's complete to number three, Carlos Parsons. Parsons in for Car Parsons. Watch Ensminger. He throws the ball down in there, but that ball was up high, but Carson kept concentration on it. Caught the ball with his hands. Ensminger not a pass on first and ten. Over the middle, it's complete to Carlos Parsons. At the ten. LSU's first issue. 14. Woodley in at quarterback. It's caught by number three. Third down. Six yards to go. Over the middle and complete for a first down inside the third. Carson, he had concentration on the football because just as soon as he catches it, he's wrapped by Hubble and by County. First down to from there with David Woodley, the junior quarterback. With Charles Alexander at tailback, the Heisman candidate. Pokey Gajan, who just ran back the kick, is the fullback. Out of Baton Rouge, the split back is Mike Quintella, number one. And the speed merchant is number three. Charles never scored a touchdown against the tie. It's third down and nine. Woodley has time. He has a man open, complete, and in for the score. Carlos Carson. Play. It's interesting. They went to an unbalanced line and rolled out through the field, which gave Woodley additional protection. And he hit Carlos right on the numbers here. He came down, hooked up, turned to the inside or the outside, and got all the way to the end zone. That young guy is Carson, number three, isolated for the touchdown. He's a remarkable receiver. As a matter of fact, the first time, five times he caught the ball when he was a freshman, he scored touchdowns. He just comes down, stops, reads the zone coverage, then works away from the defender and gets him to the end zone. Goal line, so it is first down and 14. And Woodley to throw from the end zone, looking for Carson. Body goes in the air, but he makes the catch. I think he did. Yeah. Now, he comes back, fakes to Alexander to hold the linebackers in there, then he goes one-on-one. -on -one. He's got Carson, who can run a 4-3-40. The ball is bounced around a little bit right there. Carson's secondary reaction here, grabs the ball, and what? One-on-one -on -one right down the field, and what a change in field position from deep in the shadows of their own goal line. Here comes Carson down, goes up for the ball. It was played well by Ricky Tucker, but there, what a catch by Carson. And takes him in. Is in motion. The fake to Alexander. Woodley throwing left side after the 39-yard line for Carlos. See him come right down the field here, Carlos, Carlos Carson. He sees he can't beat him deep, so he stops, goes to the sideline. The ball is low. He makes a great catch. 35-yard line. It is Enspringer hitting Carson at midfield, and he can... As we watch the receiver, Carson isolated. Right, he just comes up the field, and Hensminger just faked the fullback, turned and delivered the ball right to Carson, and you get the feeling up here that uh, LSU is explosive and can go any time. Well, they're going to bring out the tricks right now. They've hit line touchdown. Woodley, straight drop. Over the middle to Carson at the 45 of the tie. Watch how quick he comes off that ball. Sprints up the field and goes right into the seam to the inside. The linebacker, there was no sheltering coverage un underneath. The secondary had to pick it up. He actually fell down here. But there was no one to, between the passers. 